our planet is around 4.5 billion years old. Scientists estimate the first single cell organisms appeared on Earth billions of years ago. Since then the evolutionary process of life has given birth to millions of different species. Over the course of the last hundred years, scientists have done extensive research on many of the ancient creatures that once roamed our planet. From the giant dinosaurs to the smaller creatures, various fossils of ancient animals have been discovered that have allowed the scientists to learn about these fascinating creatures. While the scientific evidence tells us that many of the ancient animals are now extinct, there have been some incidents during recent years that tell us otherwise. Over the past few decades there have been a wild scale sightings of some of the most fascinating ancient creatures, and this leads many to believe that some of these ancient creatures that we only read about in books or see in movies are still out there. So today we're going to take a look at 5 ancient creatures that are still being encountered. Titanoboa One of the most giant land creatures of the ancient world that according to some people still resides deep in the jungles of the Amazon rainforest is Titanoboa. Scientists have found ancient fossils of Titanoboa that indicate this massive snake could grow up to a length of 42 feet. According to researchers, the fossils of Titanoboa are around 60 million years old. However, many local people from the native tribes have claimed to have seen the monstrous snakes in various parts of the Amazon. Scientists believe that the vast unexplored jungles of the Amazon rainforest are home to many undiscovered species, and Titanoboa could be one of them. The Amazon rainforest is so dense that sunlight is unable to reach 95% of the soil in the rainforest. The closely grown trees and plants block the sunlight from reaching the soil. There are also many places in the Amazon rainforest where flash floods happen very often. Some native tribes still believe this monstrous snake lives near the waterways in the Amazon rainforest. There are many people belonging to the native tribes of the Amazon rainforest, and its surrounding areas who claim to have seen a Titanoboa. Some animal experts have dismissed these sightings. They are of the opinion that it's possible that many of these sightings were actually some of the largest snakes like anacondas. However, the largest anaconda snake that's been caught is around 28 feet long. Many researchers believe it would be nearly impossible for a person to mistake an anaconda for a titanoboa. A titanoboa is much larger in size. According to one researcher, a titanoboa could reach over 100 feet in length if it was provided with suitable conditions. The Amazon rainforest is an ideal place where a giant snake like Titanoboa could live. There is plenty of food available, the terrain is swampy at many places, and there are many large waterways. The biggest factor that makes the Amazon rainforest an ideal habitat for Titanoboa is the fact that most of the Amazon rainforest is unexplored by humans. Without interference from human beings, the rainforest and the creatures that reside in it have been able to thrive over the course of thousands of years. Megalania Megalania, which is also known as the giant monitor lizard, lived in the southern parts of Australia about 50,000 years ago. It could grow up to 25 feet and could weigh up to 4,000 pounds. It's the largest identified lizard to have ever existed. This giant beast is considered to be extinct. The scientists are not sure as to what caused its extinction. However, there are many people who believe this giant lizard still exists in the vast unexplored areas of the Australian continent. A number of alleged sightings of Megalania have been reported in different parts of the Australian rainforest. Some sightings have also been reported in New Guinea. Among the various stories of encountering Megalania, one of the most authentic stories is that of a soldier named Steve. In 1968, Steve was serving in the Australian military. His unit was taking part in a military exercise in Queensland. During the military exercise, one of the tasks assigned to Steve's unit was to pass through a trench or a swampy area. While moving through the area, the soldiers saw something that surprised them. They came across a few pieces of a cow's body. It seemed that the cow was ripped into pieces and dragged for a long distance. 
Whatever creature had taken down this cow, it took huge bites out of his body. The soldiers looked around for more clues. They found giant footprints that were approximately two feet in length. It seemed the footprints were made by a heavy lizard-like creature, as there were very solid imprints on the muddy surface. The soldiers tried to find more evidence of the creature, but they were on short time and had to complete the military exercise, and the footprints of the creature indicated there was a very high chance the lizard-like creature was still somewhere in the hidden areas of the swamp or behind the bushes. Some researchers who have examined this claim say there is a possibility of a Komodo dragon killing a cow, and making the footprints while dragging the cow. However, the footprints were much larger than those made by the Komodo dragon. This has caused many to speculate if it was a Megalania that took down the cow. This and many other similar incidents along with the vast unexplored terrain of Australia, have made many people believe that Megalania is still out there. Modern Day Pterosaur Sightings Pterosaurs were some of the largest creatures to ever fly. They were large flying reptiles that existed during the time of the dinosaurs. Scientists believe these massive ancient creatures ruled the skies for over a hundred million years, and disappeared along with the dinosaurs approximately 65 million years ago. However, there have been many alleged sightings of these creatures during the recent times. Archaeologists have found evidence that even some of the civilizations that existed a few hundred years ago believed that pterosaurs existed. Various ancient rock carvings of flying monsters that resemble pterosaurs have been discovered. This has led many researchers to carry out further research about the possibility of pterosaurs still living in limited numbers in remote parts of the world. Over the past few decades, many people have claimed to have seen a pterosaur. Most of the alleged sightings have been in North America. A few sightings of pterosaurs have been reported from Africa as well. During the early half of the 20th century, some locals in Zambia claimed to have seen a giant flying reptile that was very aggressive, and that would try to attack humans. Their description of the flying reptile indicated it was a pterosaur or some similar creature. Tasmanian Tiger Sightings Tasmanian tiger, also known as a thylacine, is considered to be an extinct animal that lived in New Guinea in Australia. Unlike many other animals, the scientists believe the last Tasmanian tiger died in 1936. It's believed that excessive hunting of these semi-dog-like creatures led to its extinction. However, over the past few decades there have been many reported sightings of the Tasmanian tiger and many of the researchers strongly believe there is a possibility that a limited number of these Tasmanian tigers might still be alive. There have been more than 3,800 reported sightings of Tasmanian tigers since 1936, and it seems that number of alleged sightings of the Tasmanian tiger will continue to increase over time. Recently, in January of 2019, a farmer in Australia shared images of an animal that resembled a Tasmanian tiger. The creature was spotted by a local resident, Peter Grooms. He immediately took out his phone and took a photo of the animal. He posted the photo on social media. It went viral and many people suggested that it was a Tasmanian tiger. There have also been a number of individuals that have claimed to have spotted the creature while going on hikes. Not only did they have their natural striped colours, but were also cited as having the elongated jaws and razor-sharp teeth that many know the Tasmanian tiger to have possessed. As the years go by, more and more sightings of the creature have been made, leaving many to believe that perhaps there are small numbers of the species that survived and are slowly recovering from the losses. Plesiosaur Sightings Plesiosaur is a large reptile that scientists consider extinct. It's believed this massive sea creature lived around 65 million years ago during the Jurassic period. Over the years, scientists have found the remains of this marine reptile. However, some people believe that plesiosaurs are still present today, and many people have claimed to have seen a plesiosaur. There are some out there that believe the various sightings of these sea serpents during the past couple of centuries were actually the sightings of plesiosaurs. While some of the sightings have taken place in various seas around the world, 
There are some that believe they can be found in specific areas of our planet. Many of the alleged sightings of sea serpents have been made in different lakes in Canada, Scotland and other countries. Scientists argue that plesiosaurs were sea creatures and they were not present in freshwater lakes. However, the believers of the plesiosaur existence say that many of the plesiosaurs were washed into the lakes as a result of various floods on the surface of the Earth. Whereas some say plesiosaurs merely relocated to much deeper depths and were able to survive the mass extinction events that wiped out the dinosaurs. So what do you think of these five ancient creatures that are still being encountered? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.